it's been four years plus since I left a narcissistic relationship. And I still remember everything like yesterday. Okay? Everything in detail. I remember everything. I remember the days. I remember the months and the time. If you're a chosen one, you just have to understand that there is a spiritual warfare that is going on between chosen people and narcissistic people. So those people, they are battling for your soul, okay? And they are fighting to take you down. If you're a person who is still with a narcissist in your bed, <clears throat> for some reason, it can be any reason, you're still with a narcissist in a relationship, you know, in a friendship. I don't know, maybe you're with narcissistic parents. There's a battle that is going on that you do not see. The narcissist is after your soul. <clears throat> on the 3D level, it looks like a normal relationship. You know, it's a normal guy. This is your father. That's your mother. That's your friends. This is your sister. That is your, you don't know, your wife, your husband. It appears like that in the physical form. It's what you can understand. But on a spiritual level, there is something else happening. You are under spiritual attack. So your health will fail. Okay? <clears throat> your health will fail. Okay? The longer you stay around those people, energy vampires, your health will fail. Your finances will crumble. You will lose friends. You lose your family. You lose everything. Okay? As a chosen one, you're most likely highly empathic, empathetic. You're a very empathetic person. The narcissist needs you to survive. They need your energy. But at the end of the day, if you have not woken up in time, you may actually lose your life. I will just try to say things the way they are, okay? You guys may have had so many cases where, for example, you have been dealing with a, a narcissistic family unit. And you have been seeing many siblings in that family falling dead out of the blue. Oh, something happened to that one, they died, they passed away, this one died, this one, this. Some of them are in hospitals. Some of them are struggling with uh, very serious health conditions. They have been hospitalized. Or for some of you guys who have been dating, for example, you, a guy comes in, walks into your life, or a woman walks into your life, and you start hearing cases of somebody who went insane. So they have been hospitalized. You know, somebody will tell you, that, oh, they had the ex. That ex is in hospital. They're in a psychiatric hospital. Or they passed on, they killed themselves, or whatever, something happened to them. They, you know, those kind of stories. It is very important to... Take your time to understand these individuals. Do some research. Okay, do the homework. Do not run around jumping into relationships before doing your homework. You need to understand, ladies and gentlemen, there is people on this universe that are after your soul. These are energy vampires, and these are some of the things that they will not teach you in school. Now, you see, for each other one, You have got to evolve. At some point, you have got to evolve. Okay? And I'm looking back in years and I'm thinking, these nurses don't appear by some coincidence. They appear for a reason. Okay? There is sometimes things that you have got to learn about yourself. So they come into your life to teach you some very, very valuable lessons. Which lessons are actually going to be a part of your evolution process. You're supposed to evolve to become the greatest version of yourself because you're here for a mission.
you're here on assignment. You did you, 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 you did you did not just come here to eat and sleep and go around in circles and play along what everybody is do what everybody is doing and play around like you are nobody. You are somebody and you're very special. So you are here for very, very specific reasons. And these are divine missions. When you're a chosen one who has awakened, especially I know that a lot of chosen people, they have awakened after going through very intensive uh, experiences with narcissists. <clears throat> There's many of them who have awakened. I think I know a lot of them that have awakened after narcissistic abuse. The narcissist will treat you in a way you have never seen before. They are going to break down your spirit. They are going to do everything in their power to make sure that you never evolve. And you can never wake up and realize who you are. Now you know, on a spiritual level, these individuals, they know you're a great person. And they know that you're very powerful. But for them to be able to win this war, because I've told you this is spiritual warfare, in every war, there's a winner and a loser. There is some empathic people that have lost this war, okay? There's empathic people, very, very highly empathic people, very nice, beautiful souls. They have lost this war. Like I've told you that there are some people who have ended up sick. They have died. They have passed on. They killed themselves or whatever. Sometimes they were probably they were poisoned or something like that. Some of them have lost this war. But there's also some, some people that have actually awakened. It is only through this awakening process that you're going to remember who you are. You know, when you awaken... You will never be, life will never be the same. You will never be that person that you used to be. Everything will change around you. You will be able to recognize the battles that have been fighting behind the scenes. Even most of the battles that you, you weren't even aware of, you know. One of the most shocking things is waking up and realizing that your own parents were after you this entire time. Because you are born in a narcissist, uh, probably you are born in a narcissistic family dynamic, your own parents were after you this entire time. Some of you, your own wives, they were after you. Your own husbands were after you. So for a chosen one, life is not a walk in the park. Okay, you don't walk around and you think that everything is going to be, uh, you know, easy, very smooth. You know, you can't be, you know. There is things that will usually happen that are going to really bring you down, first flat on the ground. But you know, God knows his chosen people, you know. And this thing of awakening, usually it happens by divine intervention. If I can tell you that in the last days when I was the narcissist, I did not know that I could make it. I did not have any other reason to live. There is very many chosen people who even think about suicide. You know, you start having you start having suicidal thoughts. You know, because these demons they want you dead. These demons they want you gone because your presence on this universe is making their work very difficult. Is making their work impossible. So they send these demons. They will come in as very beautiful men. They are going to come in as very beautiful women. But they have been sent on spiritual assignments to handle you because they know that you have got a light that is within you. That light is not supposed to shine. When that light shines too hard, it makes their work very difficult. Almost impossible. They cannot operate with the presence. So what they do now, they send these, uh, these vampires, these energy vampires to your life. And they are going to treat you in a way you have never seen before. You will know and you will recognize that you're not dealing with an ordinary human being when you've been with a narcissist. 
why do I call this thing a divine intervention? You know, there comes a time when your body will fail, you know. Your health will fail. Your body will fail. So you can feel like sometimes you're on the ground. You're already hurting and somebody's adding more pain to the wounds, you know, more, more salt to the wounds and the things like There's a person that is around you that is doing the work of the devil. Those people, they want you gone. If you're a person that you know, you come across these kind of videos, you hear people talking about narcissistic abuse, they're most likely telling you about you are dealing with a narcissist, there's a person in your bed, there's a narcissist in your bed, you had better start walking, ladies and gentlemen. You can't even run. But you see, a time comes when you are become very vulnerable and you're helpless, okay? Like some of us who have awakened me personally, my awakening started with, uh, uh, I got an awareness. There was a video playing on TV, I remember. It was on my phone, actually. I had this video about the narcissist. So I didn't know about this narcissistic abuse and everything. So I was there trying to get, you know, figure out what was going on in that time. I was tired. I was ex extremely exhausted. I didn't know what, what I'm going to do with myself. And then this video popped up. That is when I got clarity, and that actually was what triggered my awakening to happen. So this awakening happens like the last resort, you know? It's like the last resort, because if God does not awaken you up, I don't know your ancestors, the higher source, angels, whatever, if God does not awaken you, and you continue in those entanglements and relationships, I can guarantee, ladies and gentlemen, there's no future for you. The only way you will be able to be free is when God will awaken you and you will come to the realization of who has been doing what, who has always been around you and who has who and what the problem has always been. Because you'll get clarity on all these things. You will start to understand that, oh, this is what has been happening. That is who my father is. Because, you know, this process doesn't allow you to see um, people the way that you've always seen them. You know, this process of awakening allows you to see the inside of these people. You will see their souls, you will see their spirit, you will see who they are on a very spiritual level, and you'll really understand that you've been, you've been battling unknown spiritual warfare behind the scenes. You are not, you are not even aware of it. So you are awakened to get clarity, get awareness, get enlightenment, break free, you know, cut the cords with this kind of individuals, so that now you can start evolving because you remember that the narcissist has been placed in your life to hinder your growth and evolution as a chosen one. So those people, they come in your life and you realize that you're not taking off. There is nothing you're doing is working. There's no business you're opening is working. There's nothing. I, I know even some people have been doing like videos, YouTubes, whatever for, for ages. Their channels are not taking off for some reason. Anything you do around that energy is not going to work. It will never work, ladies and gentlemen, because you're dealing with demons here. So when God decides to awaken you, that means that you have been blessed. So you have been chosen and blessed to awaken because there is a person around you who is trying to stop your mission. Your mission is too big for these enemies and they cannot handle your energy. So they try to put you in that frequency whereby you cannot be able to operate like a normal person and operate the way you should do, the way you should operate. So the last result will be divine intervention. When you wake up, you will now realize that you've never been alone from day one. You start to realize that you've always had a protection, a protection team around you. And there is something, an invisible force that has always been looking out for you that you are not aware of. So there was things that were happening behind the scenes. You know, it is most likely you have been trying to wake up so many times. You know, there could have been people popping up in your life many years ago. They told you something, but probably it would resonate. And then it's like sometimes if somehow, somewhere you would go back to sleep. That person is a narcissist. Oh, maybe it's true. Or you're right or something. You may be right or this, this and that. And for some reason, two days later, you go back to sleep. One week later, you hear the same thing. You go back to sleep. So there has been a force that has been trying to intervene for a very long period of time to tell you, open your eyes to what has been going on around you. But sometimes you have always been going back to sleep. 
But when the final awakening happens for the very first time, you will see. You will see these demons. Ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing that is shocking to wake up and realize that the people you called friends all this entire time, the people that you knew as your parents all this entire time, the person you knew as your wife this entire time, husband, those people, they were after your soul. They were fighting with you because you see the demons use these people. These are avatars. They are the vessels. The, the demon uses these people to attack you on a very spiritual level. So that's why you are seeing a lot of blockages in your life. You're making money. You can't see the money. The money is just slipping through your hands. Nothing is taking off. You don't have friends. No one is calling you. No one is visiting you. Your families are gone. You're very distant. You're very isolated. You are under punishment. Did you guys know the reason why most of the times when you wake up, when you go through an awakening, the very first people to run away, to flee away from you, those were the people, with the, those were the exact problem that you had around you. The very first person to flee, the very moment you wake up, you know, your switches have been turned on. And you look, you're looking around you and you're seeing there's some people that are starting to run away from you. Very, very distant. They're no longer calling you. They don't want to come around. Those were the people that were attacking you, that were not even aware of. So the whole process is to... You get awakened because God wants you to move you to the next level. God wants to move you to the next level. You know, start learning things, educate yourself, get enlightened, evolve, you know, so that you can now be able to find your purpose on this universe. Because remember that for as long as you've been with these individuals for the last 20 years or whatever, 15 or 20 or 30 years or so, you have never been able to live a life of purpose. But post-awakening, everything will change. You will not be able to find your divine purpose and what it is you came here to do. So you best believe the only way to put you on the right path and back on track was divine intervention. God had to wake you up so that you'll be able to raise up, heal, do the work, evolve, and become the greatest version of yourself. So let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. You guys know that I do love and appreciate your support. Book a session, donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. There's almost signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.